according to the Word of God. And we're using this Word of God in an offensive and a defensive manner at times. And that makes it quick. It makes it a powerful. It makes it alive. It makes it one of the most powerful weapons that the Christian could ever possess in their arsenal. Because here's the thing. Do you think that the enemy uses the Word of God? No. Ah, oh, but he does. What? The, the devil uses the Word of God to fool you. Is that what you were trying he to He does. Do? He'll put a slight twist on the end that will make it not true. Because when he attacked Jesus in the wilderness, was the devil using the Word of God? He absolutely was. But he put a slight twist on it that made it not true. When you look at all the cults of the world, some of them use the Word of God. But what happens is they put that slight twist on there that makes it not true. It is imperative for us to use the Word of God, to know the Word of God, to study it, to learn it. Because if we're not careful, the enemy will do everything he can to fool us using the Word of God. But when we have studied it, when we have learned it, when we know it, then we're a whole lot less susceptible. And that goes back to what you said about when you know it in your heart. It's hard for somebody to, to get you to believe something else. Absolutely. That's one of the hardest parts of even any country that comes against a sect to put them underneath. If they want to suppress ideas, because you can't, you can hurt the body, you can destroy it, but you can never take away what somebody knows up here. And that is what makes people dangerous. It's not what they can do, but it's what they know. It's their education. Everybody can take everything away from you in this world, but they can't take away your education. Absolutely. Now, with that being said, we're going to slowly wrap up here. Does anybody have any thoughts, any questions, anything they want to add? If not, then we'll prepare our hearts and our minds for service. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you all praise and glory for everything you've done for us and shall continue to do. God, we thank you that you are one who reigns on high and that there is none like you, Lord. Even right now, we rebuke every attack of the enemy that should come our way. We pray that you set your angels at the four corners of the property above and below, that no attack of the enemy may penetrate. I pray that our hearts and our minds would be in, good, in one mindset, one accord, that we may worship you in sincerity and truth, that the Holy Ghost may move, making himself visible if he so chooses, Lord. I pray that our hearts and our minds will be plowed, that they be good soil for your word to fall on, that we may remember it throughout the week, Lord, but even greater than that, that we may apply it to our lives, Lord. Anoint the song leader and the musicians as they praise you upon the string instruments and the vocal cords. Give them a special blessing. Anoint the pastor as brings forth your word today. Anoint his mind and his lips that your words may flow forth, Lord. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen.